Hello and welcome to another video on basic fiber optics. So today I thought I'd demonstrate in a bit more detail how polarization maintaining fiber actually worked. So in a previous video I explained that when you have a polarization maintaining fiber it contains two glass rods that don't carry any light but which um, do have a different coefficient of thermal expansion compared to the surrounding glass. This causes them to essentially apply pressure or strain, stress, whatever you want to call it, to the core of this fiber, which means that essentially the speed of light along the horizontal axis of the fiber will be different from the speed of light along the vertical axis of the fiber. Now essentially if you send light in sort of at a 45 degree angle here, then the component that's in the uh, vertical direction will propagate faster than the one going in the horizontal direction. And essentially if you have a sufficiently long fiber, you can actually get a pulse to sort of split into two components. So that's what we'll see today. So I've built this little setup here. I'm reusing the setup for generating pulses that we used for the experiment with the electro-optical modulator and for phasal TDR. This goes into a polarization controller. If you remember, it's these uh, paddles that you can uh, turn in order to apply strain to the fiber and thereby change the state of polarization inside of the single mode fiber here. Then we split it with a 50-50 coupler in two paths. So one path just contains a approximately five kilometer single mode fiber like this one right here, which goes into photodiode. And the other path contains an approximately 50 kilometer long uh, spool of polarization maintaining fiber, which is this one that goes into photodiode. So if everything goes well, we should be able to see that adjusting the polarization right here will not affect the um, shape of the pulse coming out here from the single mode fiber, but it will affect what happens for the output coming from the polarization maintaining fiber. So let's take a look at that. Okay, here we have the electro-optical optical modulator generating the pulses. And as I said, this goes into a, um, a polarization controller right here, which goes into this 50-50 coupler you see right here with the white uh, white fiber and the splitting into a blue and a red one. The red one goes into this 5 kilometer spool of polarization maintaining fiber and then into the photodiode down here. And the blue line goes into all of these fiber spools here, which in total add up to around 5 kilometers worth of single mode fiber. And their output then goes into the that here on top and we've connected that to the oscilloscope as you can see. So now if I just get the camera into view like this, we can see that we sort of had two sets of pulses. So the blue pulse here, that is from the single mode fiber and this funny dual pulse we have here is coming out of the polarization maintaining fiber. Now watch what happens when I modify the polarization controlling paddles here before the, the copper. You'll notice that the, um, the blue pulse over here remains completely unchanged, whereas these uh, dual pulses here keep changing whenever I modify the, the pedals. So again, remember what happens here. If you have the sort of the two axes of the polarization maintaining fiber, then if I adjust the state of polarization so that more light is along the um, is along the vertical axis, then um, we'll get a higher pulse to the, the left here because this one arrives earlier, so this must be one that propagates the the fastest. So right now we have most of the light inside of the fast axis. And then if I, actually now all of it should be in the fast axis, let me get rid of this little text box here. And if I then modify the polarization controllers more so that most of the light is in the horizontal direction, then this one here will be, will be maximized. And of course, if I choose some angle in between, like say 45 degrees or even some kind of circular polarization, then we're gonna get something that's a bit more 50-50 in terms of the, the power on these two, these two peaks. Okay, so I hope that demonstrates how polarization maintaining fibers work. We have these two axes with different uh, speeds of light, and that can actually be seen by the fact that these, uh, this single pulse we send in gets split up into, into two components. All right, stay tuned for more videos.